Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got this black dramatic smoky eye makeup tutorial for you which is perfect for a night out. This is my go-to night out makeup look so I hope you guys enjoy it. Starting with the eyes, the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is just going to give us a really nice base for our dramatic eyeshadow. This is just going to make it last all night and stop any creasing. I'm then going to set that in place with Max Brulee Eyeshadow, which is just a matte cream shade. I would recommend doing your eyes first in a black smoky eye, just so you can clean up any fallout without ruining your foundation. Now, I want this look to be really dramatic, so I'm starting with the eyes and I'm using some tape to create a really nice precise line. Now because this is a black smoky eye, you want to start off by building up your transition shade. So first I'm going in with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek on a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is just going to give us a really nice blended diffused edge to our black smoky eye. I'm then going in with Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and I'm using that in the lower part of my crease, blending upwards. Again, just to add a really nice transition and a really nice gradient look to this dramatic look. Now we've put down our transition shades in the crease, I'm now going to go in with the main colour for this look which is Corrupt from Makeup Geek which is a super matte black rich black eyeshadow. This is my favourite black eyeshadow on the market, it's absolutely amazing and I'm using that first on a MAC 217 brush solely into the crease buffing it upwards. I'm then going in with a flat definer brush and really packing that all over the lid to get a really intense black effect. I'm then peeling off the tape to reveal our really nice precise line. We're going to go back onto the eyes later but first I'm going to go in and prime my face using the Benefit Matte Rescue Primer. I always double prime on a night out so I will always use two different primers. So this is just going to keep me really matte throughout the night and make sure my makeup goes on really nice and smooth. I'm then going to go in and use Benefit's Original Pore Professional and I'm using this in my T-zone just to smooth out any texture on the skin and make sure we have a really flawless smooth base. For a night out I have two favourite foundations, first is Essay Lauder Double Wear and second is this new one for me, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, it kind of says it in the name why I love it, it lasts all night without fading and it keeps me super matte so I'm using this all over my face and I'm buffing it in with a Zoeva buffing brush first and then going over that with a beauty blender. For concealer today I'm going in with Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer, this is the best long wearing concealer and it's super full coverage. I'm using this in the shade 03 medium first which is my natural skin tone, I'm then going in with the shade um, 1W which is light warm and I'm using that to highlight and then blending that in with a damp beauty blender. To set the concealer under our eyes, I'm now going in with the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm using this on my beauty blender and I'm baking underneath my eyes. I always bake when I'm going on a night out just to ensure that our products last and they don't crease. Because I have oily skin, I have to go in and set my whole face with a powder. So here I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just using that on a brush and I'm actually dusting off my bake with this and I'm just setting my whole face just to control any oil and just to keep me matte again. On a night out, I don't hold back with the amount of product I use, as you can see, I just go in and kind of layer loads of products together just to make sure it lasts. I'm now going in with the MAC Give Me Some Bronzer, this is my favourite bronzer for a night out, it really does warm up your complexion, I absolutely love this and I'm just going and using this underneath my cheekbones, I'm using this on my forehead, temples and underneath my jawline. Because our eyes are the main focus of this look, I'm going in with a neutral blush from MAC here. This is the shade Melba and it's a matte finish. It is the most beautiful, neutral, kind of peachy pinky colour and I'm using that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it upwards. 
Now on a night out, I absolutely love a beaming highlighter, so I'm using one of my favourites. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator, and I actually use this all over my body. I use it on my shoulders, on my collarbones. As you can see here, I'm also using it on my cheekbones. I'm using it above my brow, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. I want to be highlighted to the gods. To the eyes now I'm going in and smoking up my lower lash line using Makeup Geek's Coco Bear first I'm just using that on a flat definer brush from MAC underneath my lower lash line I'm then going to go back in with my black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to really smoke out my lower lash line I want the eyes to be super dramatic for this look so I'm now going in with the Soap and Glory Smolder Coal Black Eyeliner Pencil and I'm using that along my lower lash line and also in my waterline and my tight line. I always do this with a black smoky eye, I just find that it brings the whole look together. I'm then going in with my Maybelline Master Ink Matte Eyeliner and doing a winged liner. I'm then going to go back in with our So Hollywood Illuminator and I'm using that on the inner corners of my eyes to really brighten up because the whole look on our eyes is matte and that is the only part that I want shimmery. I'm then just going over and re-intensifying the highlight on my Cupid's Burn nose. I'm now going in with the Benefit There Real Mascara on my upper and lower lashes just to prep my lashes for false ones. Moving on to brows, the first thing I'm going to do is run through some Benefit Gimme Brow through my eyebrows. This is just a brow volumizing gel. I'm then going to go in and shape my brows out with the Benefit Cabral. I'm just using this in the shade number 4 today and I'm using that on my favourite Estee Lauder double brow sculpting brush which is like a little angled brush. It's absolutely amazing and I'm using this to really give me a defined brow look. Now to set the hairs down in place and also set any product down, I'm using the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is a waterproof long wearing brow gel. I absolutely love this. I use this in all my videos and it is an essential for a night out look. For lashes, here I'm going in with the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I use any kind of long, wispy, dramatic lash on a night out. Now moving on to the lips, I'm going in with a nude lip today as I think it really complements the really dark smoky eyes. I'm going to go first in with the Oak Lip Liner from MAC which is just a really nice neutral lip liner. For lipstick today I'm going in with the shade Peach Stock from MAC, this is a really pretty pale nude shade. For today's look I am going to go in with a glossy lip, to be honest on a night out I go between this and a matte liquid lipstick, just today I felt like I wanted to go for a glossy lip. So the gloss I'm using over the top of this lipstick is the shade Sugar Sugar from Marc Jacobs, it is the most beautiful high shine glossy lip, I absolutely love this lip gloss, I highly recommend it. And that is this look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my go-to night out makeup look featuring this super dramatic black smoky eye paired with some flawless glowing skin and a beautiful glossy nude lip. This is one of my favourite makeup looks to wear so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial. If you did then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you next Friday at 8pm in my next video. Bye guys!